Suppose when it comes to designing your website, you're a little, shall we say, design challenge. For you, maybe it's always been a stumbling block to get your site online. Block patterns might be your answer, and let me show you how it works. There are actually two different sources to get block patterns into your pages. I look at it as a way of jump-starting the design of your site or drawing inspiration for your site. Let's look at the first method. And that is, if I just click on the inserter, you'll see that I have two tabs over here, blocks we know about, and I have patterns tab. Now, I could do a search for the pattern, but I really don't know what pattern I want. I could also scroll down here and try to figure out what I want, and nope, don't want to do it that way either. I could also click on this over here. These are different categories of patterns. But the one that has the most usefulness, I think, is if you just click on Explore. Here we can have a better view of the patterns. Now, where do these patterns come from to begin with? Each theme will have its own set of patterns. And I'm just going to take a look at, let's say, columns over here. So here are some column ideas. Let's take a look at this one over here. Okay, I can see a three-column layout. Sure, I could have made this myself, but if I could save some time and get some design inspiration, it's already done for me. What I would do is go to the list view, and I would see there is a columns block, and then, of course, the three different columns, one, two, and three. And, of course, I would change the content, maybe add an image, maybe add something else, maybe remove a button. Anything I want, I could change that all around. Maybe change the order of these. It doesn't matter. They're just regular blocks that I can change and use them as my own. Now, if I like this design a lot, I can just go over to the columns block right over here. Click on the three dots. Go over here to add to reusable and create a reusable block so that I could use this over and over again on my site or even export it and import it to another site. If you want some information on how to do that, go see the lessons on creating reusable blocks and exporting importing blocks to another site. Now let's explore some other block patterns. And we'll do that by first removing what we have here. Remove. Let's look at one more and we'll go to the inserter again. I'll go to Patterns, go to Explore. This time I want to look at the gallery. And this is kind of simple. This looks like two images next to each other. Let's try that. So I click on that. Now, these two images, they look like they're in my website. And they are, but the files are not in the media library. Let's have a look. No, they're definitely not here, but they are files that are with the files of my theme. So I do have them in my website. They're just not in the media library. And I'm going to replace them. I'm just going to replace this one with here. And let's replace this one over here. And as it turns out, you know what? I'd like to have maybe three in a row. So I am going to just go over here and let's just duplicate this. And now we have three images. And if I want to replace it, I click over here. But let me just leave it right where it is. And that's a way to set up a very simple gallery. It's already sort of pre-built, but I've already made some changes. And you can then go ahead and do the, any kind of customizations that you would do with images like crop it, add duotone, or any number of these functions over here that I went over in the lesson on dealing with images. Now, I mentioned there was a second way to get patterns into your website. And for that, we're going to go over to WordPress.org. And there is a tab right over here called Patterns. And these are the same concept, pre-built patterns that you can copy from here and paste them into your site. Now, where do these come from to begin with? Well, there's different designers and theme authors that have uploaded these patterns for us to use. And that's really nice. So I'm going to 
Go right over here to text. So these are arranged in different categories, but text is what I want. And right over here, this first one appeals to me. So I am going to use this. Now I can click copy or I can click on this. And I can scroll around a little bit. Right over here is different options of like how it would look in different devices. Etc. Okay, but I want the pattern, so I'm just going to click Copy Pattern. And I'm going to go to a empty page right over here. And Command-V in on a Mac or Control-V with Windows. And there we have the pattern in my site. Now, I don't want this image here, but let's say I did for one second. I'd click on this, I'd go to look at my image right over here, see if it's in my media library. No, this is not in my media library. This is nowhere near my website. This image lives at WordPress.org. And if for any reason this pattern were removed and so to this image, then my image would be gone too. So I want to be careful not to use this image because it's really just a placeholder. So I am going to replace it and use this over here. And let's use something like this over here. And let's say I, I wanted to replace the text because it doesn't make any sense. I've got my own text idea. And for that, I'm going to type in Sky Pilot. All right, maybe I want to replace this image too. Same idea. I go to my media library, select an image, and that's it. So you can see I can make all kinds of changes. Like, for example, too, let's say I don't like the background. Well, let's see. Where is that? Here it is, group. So I want to change the background of the group block. And for that, we're going to go to the cog, go into color, go into the background, Let's choose something dark, and then I would have to make some adjustments for the text color because you don't see it very well. But you get the idea. You can change anything you want. And that's block patterns. Two ways to get block patterns into your pages. And it's certainly going to help if you find that you're a little design challenged and you need some inspiration and a good starting point. Then the best thing to do is use block patterns.